Hello guys and welcome to the tutorial. In this video, let's look at another coding question asked in the Accenture coding assessment. So the problem is autobiographical numbers. But before starting, make sure to subscribe to my channel as it encourages me to keep making such content. Also make sure to check out the full playlist of Accenture coding problems. So with that said, let's start with the tutorial. So first let's see what the problem statement is. Given an integer n, check if it is an autobiographical number or not. If it is, then return the count of distinct numbers in n. And if it isn't an autobiographical number, then return 0. It is also mentioned that an autobiographical number is where the first digit represents the count of zeros in the number, the second digit represents the count of ones in the number and so on. So let's properly understand what the problem is trying to tell us. Let's suppose the number is 1 to 1 0. Now we first need to check if it is an autobiographical number or not. Now as per the definition given to us, the first digit tells us how many times 0 is present in the number. Here the first digit is 1, so it means that the number must contain only a single 0. So it looks like we have a single 0 in our number. So that is true. Now the second digit tells us how many times 1 is present in the number. So the number here is 2, meaning that our number must contain 1 2 times. As you can see, 1 is present twice in our number. So that is true as well. Now the third digit denotes the count of 2 in our numbers. So the digit here is 1, that means our number must contain 2 only once which is true since 2 is present only once in our number. Now the last digit that is the fourth digit denotes the count of number 3 in our number. Now since our number doesn't contain 3 the value of the fourth digit should be 0 which is also true. So now we have checked all the digits and we can say that this number is an autobiographical number. Now the second part of the problem we need to return the count of distinct numbers from 1 to 1 0. So the distinct numbers present in 1 to 1 0 are 0 1 and 2. So the answer will be 3. Let's take another number. 2020. Again, let's quickly check if it is an autobiographical number or not. Okay, so the first digit is 2, meaning that there must be two zeros in our number, which is true. The second digit is 0, meaning that there should not be a 1 present in the number, which is also true. Next, the third digit is 2, meaning that there must be 2 twice in our number, which is true again. And finally, the fourth digit is 0, meaning that there should not be a 3, which is also true. So we can say that this number is also an autobiographical number. Now in this number the distinct digits are 0 and 2, so the answer for 2020 is 2. Now let's see an example where the number is not autobiographical. Let's consider the number is 1, 2, 3. So you can notice the first digit is 1, meaning that there should be a single 0 present, which is not true, since there is no 0 in our number. Thus the number is not autobiographical, and therefore the answer here will be 0. Now that we know what the problem is all about, let's quickly discuss the approach to solve it. Now we will create a for loop using i variable. Inside the for loop we will create an inner for loop. Inside the inner loop we will check how many times i appears in the number. After inner loop terminates we will simply check if count of i is equal to the digit present at index i. That means if i is 0 you can observe that the count of 0 is 1. So we will check this count with the digit at ith index that is 0th index which is also 1. Here we are counting i because i ranges from 0 to length of number minus 1. Therefore, every value of i corresponds directly with the digit associated to it in the number. And as this is true, we will continue with the next iteration. But if the count is not equal to the digit present at that index, then we will return 0, meaning that the number is not autobiographical. Now if the outer loop terminates successfully, then we know that our number is autobiographical and thus we will count distinct elements and return that count. Now let's write an algorithm for this problem. Here I have created a method called autobiographical number with return type as int and one integer argument n. So first I will convert this integer to a string. Next I will declare a set variable. I will tell you about this in a minute. Then I will create a count variable to keep track of count of each digit. Now we are going to need a for loop to traverse our string. The for loop will go from 0 till length of string minus 1. Then in the for loop, I will create an inner for loop starting from 0 till length of string minus 1. Now what this inner for loop will do is, when i is 0, we will check how many times i, which is currently 0, appears in our number. If we find it, we will increment our count by 1. So after the inner loop terminates, we will have the count of i in our number, 
Now we will check if this count is equal to the number at index i. If it is not equal then we will simply return 0 or if it is equal then we will reset our count to 0 and add the number at index i in our set. So after the for loop terminates we know for sure that our number is autobiographical. Now we need to return count of distinct elements. So for that we used set. Now set data structure has a property where only distinct elements can be present inside the set. So even if we insert any duplicate it will simply ignore it. So in our case only the distinct numbers are present in the set. Thus we will return the size of that set. You can think of size as count of integers present in that set. So that's the algorithm. Now let's check the output. Here in the main method I have some numbers that are autobiographical and some numbers that are not. Now let's check the output. We'll give the number 2020 and 123. You can see the output for 2020 is 2 meaning that the number is autobiographical and the distinct elements present are 2. And for 123 the output is 0 which means the number is not autobiographical. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Now why don't you check out another Accenture coding problem by clicking on the video to the left and also click on that subscribe button so that you never miss any updates. Thanks for watching.